Hey guys, Chris Mufu here with another cool, cool video. Well, okay, fine, it's pretty cool. So, um, you know, if you guys have Android devices, you guys know about Android emulators, right? I mean, like, yeah, Android emulators. So, um, you know, you have the good old Game Boy emulator, N64 Droid emulator, and GBC Boy emulator. But have you guys ever heard of the NDS emulator? Um, well, I guess you could have because it's actually on the marketplace. So what you can do is you could actually just go to the marketplace and search NDS for Droid, and there you have it here over here. However, this NDS for Droid is seven sixty four, and yeah, it's quite expensive. So if you want to buy it and it doesn't work on your device because it really requires high end Android phones and it doesn't work, then that would be a big waste of money. So I'm gonna show you guys there uh, a way to get it free. Okay, and so uh, I do not, um, I do not, what's, what's the word, I do not support this illegal version of the, of this NDS for Droid, but I would just, um, I just downloaded it to try it out, and if it works, I, I strongly encourage you to delete the one that you downloaded illegally and buy it from the App Store, if it works. The one that I'm teaching how to download is just for trial, so, so you can see <coughs> whether it supports your device, and you don't have to waste money, seven, yeah, seven dollars. So, what you want to do is you want to go to the Android store and search for shared over here. Uh, for shared, alright? Once you have it here, you will see that it's free. So, click on the first one or click on the second one, depending on what you want. Uh, I'm going to click on the first one and click free and install. So, I'm going to do that right now and I'll come back up with the install. Alright, once you install it, you should see up here in the icon. So, I'll boot it up and yeah. Let's now, once you have it up and running, you want to go over to the options button on your Android device and click search over here. Click search and search for nds 4 apk Click on it. I'm sorry, just search it as I searched it previously. So, once you have nds 4 apk it's over here. Um, click on the one that says nds 4 nds 4 I'm um, sorry, I can't see it too clearly. Let's try to do it. Yeah, and it's for Droid V1.2.2. APA APK. Click on that one. Um, sorry. Press and hold on it, and you should see a menu pop up, and click Add to My Account. All right, now you see NDS for Droid added to my account. Go back to that. I click the back button, and in your account, you should see NDS for Droid. V1.2.2.apk. Now click on it and wait for it to download. Uh, such it's quite a big file. It's 1.4 MB, so it takes some time to download. So mm, I'll tell you guys. Uh, I'll come back to you guys when it's up and uh, when it's finished downloading. All right. Once it's back up, you should see it right here. This icon over here, NDS for Droid. Now you have the NDS for Droid. I'm going to click on it. And it should start to boot up. So it would say, um, let me just put it like that. It would say, searching for ROMs. And so let it search your device for ROMs. Now, at this point in time, I doubt you guys would have any ROMs because you guys wouldn't have downloaded any NDS ROMs. But I have already have some NDS ROMs here. Yeah. So now to get this NDS ROMs onto your device, what you do is you want to get the cable, um, plug in your device from the bottom into your computer, and on your computer, let me just show you, I mean, I will show you the computer, I'll just show you on here, um, on your computer, you should see this come out, like, like this bunch of files, random files, so what you want to do on your computer is, this random files, um, create a folder called ROMs, which I've done so, so once you plug it in, you should see this come out, um, click on the folder called ROMs, where is it, um, okay, basically I created a folder, where is it, um, gosh, I can't find it, okay, uh, I created a folder, I created a folder called ROMs, and, uh, NDS ROMs, and I just put in all the NDS games inside here, so, I'll provide a link in the description for some games, I mean for some websites you can download ROMs, NDS ROMs for. And once again, these ROMs are only for fun. Um, if you have a real NDS, I suggest you buy the ROM. I strongly encourage you to buy the ROM and not use the illegal ROM. So, but this is just for purely for emulators. So once you have the ROMs installed in your uh, in your device, you should click on NDS for Droid. And it should say scanning for ROMs, like previously. 
and all the rooms to come up. So I got quite a few here, so I'm gonna show you one which is Pokemon. Um Platinum. Okay, let me warn you two things. Number one, the emulation is extremely, extremely slow. So you know don't don't get your hopes up too high for like extremely fast because trust me it's not. So anyway, I'll say preparing game and yeah. Um it does not run unfortunately Pokemon black and white. I try it kind of crashed on me. Anyway, so this is Pokemon Platinum standing up and wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. Pokemon Platinum. So you have all the number key pets here. The movement L R um, select and start. Now this I button, this is quite interesting but you click this if you want to use the stylus. You know for example, I'm just show you why 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 would you why would you need to use the stylus? Okay. In Pokemon Platinum, okay, let me just skip to the part where you need the stylus and I'll come back to you soon. Alright, as you see this part in Pokemon Platinum, they say okay here I have a Pokeball. A touch the button on the middle of the Pokeball, if you please. So you have to touch this button over here. But you notice you can't click it. So what you have to do is squat I, click on the I button, and all the other icons will disappear, as you can see. And then you have full control of the stylus, so you can click on it, and there you go. So, alright, so this is how you can actually get um, a good NDS for Joy emulator running, but at this point in time, it's super slow, it's emulation super slow. But it's manageable if you're desperate and have really no money to actually buy a DS. So, yeah, it's actually not that bad, but you really need a high end. So, like here, I have, I have a Galaxy Tab um, using a 1 GHz processor and it's still that slow. So, if you have a low end pro uh, processor, like maybe a 500 uh, MHz processor, then yeah, it would be extremely slow. So, that's how you get a NDS for Droid emulator. Okay, have a nice day and have fun with your. Um, and the assembly. Goodbye.